Hey, this is a walkthrough video of 3576 Austin. I want you to make note of that gate right there and this little cutaway in the curb because I'm going to come back to that. It is raining out here now and so this, um, <clears throat> this property needs work but it has some possibility. So that's Beneva right here. So we're only two houses off Beneva. That's a little bit of road noise. Not sure about the roof. It doesn't look terrible, but I'm going to say it probably needs to be replaced. Look at these fabulous trees all over. Um, nice trees, but lots of leaves. Okay. <clears throat> so there's a couple things that I really like about this house, except that the door is locked. I don't like that. Came in this way. I guess we'll start here. This was a two-car garage or two-car carport. I think I would return, I removed the screen door there and re return it to be as such. So, <clears throat> one thing that I really like here, the fact is that this terrazzo is in very, 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 very good condition. The floor plan really needs to be modified and this, you know, like everything, this wall needs to be removed. How many times are you tired of me saying that like, oh, guess what, Jules wants you to take out that wall and open up the kitchen to the living space. Well, I'm not the only one who wants that. That's just how it should be. Interestingly enough, there's a gas line there, I just noticed. Um, so no appliances, um, but the AC looks brand spanking new. That's in here. Uh, and, and that is brand new. AC is new, like the terrazzo. I like the uh, ceiling plaster. That's really cool. And then there's things that are just like, okay, look, voila, bathroom's done. Nothing to do in here. Pretty nice tile, happy with it, done. Call that a day. Um, big rooms, yucky windows though. Terrible paint, but um, that is. I think that's a speaker, because there's the vent. Decent closet. What is Trazo? It's perfect. Never been carpeted. Thank God. This would be the master bedroom, and the uh, rehab of this has started. And you can see they did a subway tile up and down in the shower. Looks pretty sharp. That's good. I'd keep that. Um, needs to be finished out and a vanity added by a piece of cake. Uh, again, yucky windows, but <clears throat> we got ceiling fans with switches and everything. And I, I guess those are speakers. Another one. I'm not sure. Or they might be the old ductwork for the AC. That could be also. Because they seem to be in every room. Um, hmm. Curious. Okay, so that's the main part of the house. Now this part has been enclosed and looks like it was in process. Um, this really could use some windows, but this whole room here, I see that ducts have been added to make this air conditioned. Not sure, they might, looks like they started and then stopped. This laundry room has been added. And then I, trying to figure out this is where that door goes and there's this like a little workshop here it's kind of like where we uh, order our food it's like uh, two burgers fries and a coke please um, so at some point that was added I guess I'm not sure when check this out <clears throat> this is cool this is uh, I've never seen um, I like these concrete things here it's a big pool. I mean, it's going to take some, some doing to get this pool retrofit. But look at this lot. It goes all the way from that fence way over there. All the way there. And this is that surprise and delight that I was talking about. This whole lot totally could be spun off. You know, you chop this right down the line, you get a whole nother lot there. Buildable lot. That's, you know, I'd say that's worth 80 80 to 100 even. So you can move that pretty quick. Um, I think for 75 is a lot, buildable lot. That's a good possibility. And then this house isn't bad. It's listed at 252. Uh, it says it's only 1,300 square feet, but I believe that that's to, you know, the terrazzo section. So, 
Maybe there's some opportunity here. Anyway, I'm Jules Roman, Yorkshire International, 941-366-0000. Or visit us on the website at www.yorkshireinternational. And as always, thanks for watching.